Meiosis is an important type of cell reproduction that leads to gametes. So it's how sperm and eggs are made in animals. It's how um, pollen and the little eggs inside a uh, plant ovary are made. It's how uh, organisms that recreate or reproduce by sexual reproduction make gametes. So we'll say gametes for sexual reproduction. Okay, so gametes for sexual reproduction. So we're talking about sperm and what? Oh, um, eggs. Eggs. Okay, sperm and eggs. And they make a zygote. Yeah. But that's later down the line. But how do we make gametes? And what are interesting about gametes is that they are haploid. They have haploid. And we use the word, uh, the letter N in biology to show a haploid cell. Whereas a zygote is 2N. But what does that N represent? What that represents is one set of chromosomes. So those ends, they represent one set of chromosomes. Now, um, the problem is that we talked before about here's a chromosome. Here's its sister chromatid. Two sister chromatids make up this one chromosome. And that sister chromatid is exactly the same as that sister chromatid. Um, and remember, they're actually separate from each other, but they're connected. Separate but connected. And they could be connected or separated from each other pretty easily, um, but they have the exact same information on them. That's the idea. Now, what a gamete does is during mitosis, we get exact copies of a cell. But during after meiosis, you end up with haploid cells. So meiosis leads to haploid cells. Haploid cells, which have half the information that is in a normal diploid cell. So you get half the information from your dad and half the information from your mom. And in a human, that's 23 chromosomes from dad and 23 chromosomes from mom. Any questions?